The DeLoreans are finally here. After six years of planning, selling, and dreaming, the DeLoreans have arrived in the United States. A stainless steel sports car with gullwing doors. John DeLorean was the corporate marketing genius of General Motors, next in line to be president of GM. But he gave up General Motors for a dream. Build a car that isn't obsolete every day, that can't rust and corrode and disappear, uh, that's exciting and interesting to drive, that's safer than the other cars on the road. We felt there was an opportunity to build that kind of a car. The British government put up $170 million for a plant in Northern Ireland. DeLorean says he put in $4 million of his own money and managed to raise a total of $200 million by selling stock to 340 prospective dealers in the United States. Preston Tucker, Henry J. Kaiser, and Malcolm Bricklin have all tried, all failed. But DeLorean has at least 10,000 orders for his car. But there are many skeptics. I have the feeling that the car is an awful lot of sizzle and not much steak. John DeLorean has his work cut out for him if he's to be successful. His plans call for selling 30,000 cars a year at $25,000 a car. John North, ABC News, Long Beach, California.